Welcome everyone to Jonas with Just a Commentary. Thank you so very much for subscribing to Jonas with Just a Commentary. Thank you for liking us on Facebook and for following us on Twitter. Also, guys, don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up and share it on your own personal social media. Don't forget also to check me out on Instagram at Agrisway. This is the name of the Instagram account, Agrisway. You can look for it on Instagram and you'll find me. Thank you very much. In this video feature, we're gonna react to a video which is actually trending right now on the reacting world. And this video is entitled History of the Entire World, I guess. So I guess we're gonna watch this video which is entitled History of the Entire World, I guess, I guess. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead. Uh, History, uh, hi. Space. Okay. Cool, huh? I know. Actually, most of it's water. I can't even get from here to there without buying a boat. It's sad. I'm uh, sad. I miss you. A long time ago, actually uh, never, and also now, nothing is nowhere. When? Never. What? Makes sense, right? Uh, I said it didn't happen. <laughs> nothing was never anywhere. That's why it's been everywhere. It's been so everywhere, you don't need a where. You don't need what? a when. That's how February it gets. Okay. 28 seconds into the video and I'm, I'm very much confused. I guess that's why we're going to learn the history of the entire world. Forget this. I want to be something. Go somewhere. Do something. Uh -huh. I want things to change. I want to invent time and space. And I know okay. it's possible because everything is here and it probably already happened. I just don't know when to start. And that's exactly where it started. Oh, I paused it. I think there's a universe now. What's it made of? Quarks and stuff. Ah, oh, that's a thing. What? Anyways, don't like it? Try a new place. At a different time. Try to stick together because the world is going to get bigger and emptier. But it's not empty yet. It's still very full and about a jillion degrees. I'm so confused there. Quarks are now happily married what? in groups of three called a proton or a nuclear. Uh -huh. And there's something else flying around too that wants to join in but can't because it's still too... <laughs> Great news, the protons and neutrons are now happily married to each other. Some of them even doubled up. <laughs> Great news, the electrons have now joined in. Congratulations, the world is now a bunch of gas in space. But it's getting closer together. And it's getting closer together. And it's getting closer together. It's a star. New shit just got made. Some stars burn out and die. Bigger stars burn out and die with passion and make some brand new, way crazier shit. Which allows newer, more interesting stars to be made and then die and explode. So what? Is it because I don't... Ice and funny clouds, which can make some very I'm interested in things like to do with... We well, I mean, I'm interested in science, but not in depths. Maybe that's why I don't understand what they're talking about. Well, again, that's history of the entire world, so I, so I should. Weather update: cooler temperatures today, and the floor is no longer lava. Weather update: it's raining. Severe flooding. Hey, I guess that's a. Now an ocean. Volcano alert. There's like an ocean. What? Something's alive in the ocean. Oh, cool! Like a plant or an animal? No, a microscopic speck. It lives at the bottom of the ocean. It eats chemical soup, which is being served hot and fresh, made from gnarly space ingredients left over from when it was raining rocks or whatever. It can do that. It has secret instructions written inside itself, telling it how to build another one of itself. So that's pretty nifty, I would say. Tired of living at the bottom of the ocean? Now you can eat sunlight. Using a revolutionary technique, you can convert sunlight into food. Side effect: now there's oxygen everywhere, and the sky's blue. Then the earth might have been a snowball for a while, maybe even a couple of times. <laughs> it's a sponge, it's a plant, it's a worm, and some other types of weird strange water bugs and strange fish. It's the carrying explosion. Wow, that's animals and stuff. <laughs> what? Hey, can we go on land? No. Why? The sun is a deadly laser. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come on, animals, let's go on land. Nope, can't walk yet. And there's no food yet, so I don't care. Can <laughs> you learn to walk if there's plants up here? Maybe, said some bugs. And fish. <laughs> okay, so I can go on land, but I have to go back in the water to help. Learn how to use an egg. I was already doing that. Use a stronger egg. Put water in it. Have a baby on land in an egg. Water is in the egg. Baby in the egg. In the water. In the egg. Works for me. Bye-bye, ocean. <laughs> and now everything's huge. Including bugs. Want to see a map of the land? Sure. Oh, fuck. Now everything's dead. Just kidding, you're Gosh. the survivors. Keep your eye on this one, because it's about to become the dinosaurs. Here's another map of the land. Yeah, it broke apart. Don't worry about it. It does that all the time. Here comes a meteor. And the dinosaurs are gone. <laughs> it's mammal time. Here come the mammals. Look at those breasts. Now they're going to dominate the world, and one of them just learned how to grab stuff and walk. No, like, walk like that. And grab stuff at the same time. And bang rocks together to make pointed rocks. Ouch. And set things on fire. Youch. I'm, you're not going to say I'm, I'm part, part of a monkey, are you? Uh -uh, sorry. And now nah. everywhere. Almost. What? You can walk over here? Cool. Well, I guess we're stuck here now. Let's review. <laughs> the planet. And 
chasing their food. Bucket, time to plant some grass. What? Like this, I control the food now. Now everyone will want to be my friend and live near me. Let's all build houses, except mine is bigger because I own the food. This is great. I'm not many houses doing this. Tired of using rocks for everything? Use metal. It's underground. Better farming was just invented in a sweet dank valley right in between these two rivers. And the animals are helping. Guess what happens next? More food. And more people who came to buy the food. Now you need people to help make the food and keep track of the sales. And now you need houses for people to live in. <laughs> make the houses. And now there's more people and they invent things which makes things better. And more people come and there's more farming. And more people wow. And more things this is only four minutes into the video and I'm... <laughs> what? So sad. So a dank river valley near you. Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, the horse is probably being tamed. Why is all my metal so lame and lumpy? Tired of using lame, sad metal? Introduce ah. balls made with hmm. special ingredient tin from the far lands of Tinland. I don't know if my dealer will tell me where he gets it. Also, guess what? <laughs> Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, they figured out how to put wheels on a horse. Now we're getting somewhere. Also, <laughs> China. Not that I mentioned. In this rural civilization. Where did she go? Middle East is getting more complicated. Maybe because it's in the middle of the East. Not <laughs> People with the horses, and they made an empire. In the Indeed. copied their horses. Greeks. Oh, look, it must be the Greeks, or a beta <laughs> version of the Greeks. Let's check in with the Indus River Valley civilization. They're gone. Guess who's not? <laughs> New arrivals in India. Maybe it's those horse people I was talking about. Indo European. Indo. And they wrote some I, s and and stuff. I saw that on the exam. I had to do There's the Bronze Age collapse. Now the Phoenicians can get down to business. Also, can we switch to a metal that's a little easier to find? Thanks. Look who came back to Israel. It's the 12 tribes of Israel. And they believe in God. Just one, though. He's got like a 10 step program. Here's some huge heads. Must be the Olmecs. The Phoenicians make some colonies. The Greeks copy their idea and make some colonies. The Phoenicians made a colony so big it makes colonies. Here comes the Assyrian Empire. Never mind. It's the Babylonian Median. It's the Persian Empire. <laughs> Wow, that's big. Wow. Ah, the remind me, the the remind me why I didn't actually so take history in high school. You can make religion out of this. That's a little bit of a mission. Just broke, but while it was breaking, Confucius was figuring out how to have good morals. Ah, the Greeks just had the idea of thinking about stuff. And right over here, Alexander just had the idea of conquering the entire Persian Empire. It's a great idea. He was great. And now he's dead. Hopefully the rest of the gang will be able to share the empire evenly between them. Knock knock, it's Shomer Gupta. He says, get the hell out of here. Will you get the hell out of here if I give you 500 elephants? Okay, thanks, bye. Time to conquer all of India. Or most of India. <laughs> but what about this part? That's the Tamil Kings. No one conquers the Tamil Kings. Who are the Tamil Kings? Merchants, probably. And they've got spices. I would like to buy the spices. Me, said the Arabians, swiftly buying it and selling it to the rest of the world. Hey, China put itself back together again with good morals as their main philosophy. Actually, they have three main philosophies. That's what they're gonna say for Thailand. Let's check the Greekification levels of the Greekified kingdoms. Greekification overload. On the Caribbean. I know the Caribbean, of course. Hi, said the Parthians, taking over the entire place. Hey, said the Romans, eating the entire Mediterranean for breakfast. Thanks for invading our homeland, said the Jews, who were starting to get tired of people invading their homeland. Hi, everything's great, said some guy who seems to be getting very popular and is then arrested and killed for being too popular, which only makes it more popular. You can make a religion out of this. Want silk? Now you can buy it from China. They just made a brand new road to the world. Sick, new trade routes, said India, accidentally spraying the religion to the entire southeast. That's a good place for an epic trading kingdom. There goes what? Buddhism traveling up the Silk Road. I wonder if it'll reach China before it collapses again. Remember the Persian Empire? Yep, said the Persians, making a new one. Axum is getting so powerful they would like to build a long stick. Has anyone populated Madagascar yet? Let's do it together. China's home again. <laughs> Still can't cross the Sahara Desert? Try camels. Hell yeah, now we got business. Said the Roman hmm. Empire selling lots of gold and slaves. Hi, I live in the Roman Empire and I was wondering is loving Jesus legally? No. Actually, okay, what? sure, said Constantine, moving the capital way over here to be closer to his main rival. Don't worry about Rome, it won't fall. It's the golden age of Where's Africa? All I know for sure. Not Chandra Gupta, just Gupta. They said that in the Caribbean we came through um, slave trade out from Africa. That's why they say Caribbean. Caribbean. Caribbean people are similar to. Look here, that's where we are. Let me show you. Let me see if I can show exactly where. Well, you'll eventually see it. I'll show it too. But like this, that's why we're mainly. Similar features similar to Africans, the dark skin, the ears, the eyes, the nose, 
the thief, um, the, the farming practices, the cultural practices, religion, this sort of stuff. And also, like for hurricane season, it comes out from Africa and come to the Caribbean. And they said that's how they discovered the Caribbean because of the trade winds and then the boats led to from Africa to the Caribbean. So that's it. Uh, what? That's a lot of information about the world, right? Ten minutes so far. They go north, from the north to the northern north, and they find some land, two types of land, and they name them accordingly. They go to other places and get called many names, such as Vikings. There's the Rus, the Kievan Rus. I think they made a mistake with Iceland and Greenland, honestly. The Pope is ready to make some more emperors of the Roman Empire, the Holy Roman Empire. It's actually Germany, but don't worry about it. New Kingdoms. Which brand would you like? Mine's better. Mine's better. Mine's better. I'm the conquer England, said William. It's a bird, it's a plane. It's the Seljuk Turks, <laughs> said the Byzantine Empire, who's getting so small it almost doesn't exist anymore. We need help, they need help, so they call the Pope. Hey Pope, hmm. can you help us get rid of the Seljuks? Maybe take back the Holy Land on the way? Come on, I know you want to take back the Holy Land. Yes, I do actually want to do that. Let's do a crusade. Crusade! They did many crusades, some of which almost didn't fail, but at least the Italians got some sweet trade deals. Goodbye, Mayans. Hello, Toltecs. Goodbye, Toltecs. Hello, Mississippi. Look at those mounds. There's the Pueblo. I always wondered how to Let me see they're gonna stay with the Caribbean. They can't where? Here. And Pagan is there. They can't leave they can't leave with the Caribbean. But Japan is so addicted to art that the military might have to take over the government. China just invented bombs and typing. And the Mongols just invaded most of the universe. Nice going, Genghis. I bet that will last a long time. Some of the Islamic Turks were unaffected by the Mongol invasions because they were busy invading India. Is it Tonga time? I think it's Tonga time. Wow. I just found out where the Swahili gets all their gold. Look at this Chad. It means lake. There's an empire there. Right in the middle of the <laughs> The king of Mali is so rich he's going on tour to let everyone know. Wow, that guy's rich, everyone said. The Christians are doing a great job reconquering Iberia, which will soon be called Spain and not Spain. Please remain Christian. We will check in later to see if you're still Christian when you least expect. Whoops, half of Europe just died. China's back, yay! Hey, come here, time to share. New kingdoms here and there. Oh, look who controls all the islands. Wow. It's the Mahajapit. Majahapit. Mahajahit. Mahapajit. Mahajahit. Majapahit. Oh, Italy's really rich. Time for them to care a lot about art and the ancient classics. It's kind wow. Of this is just something else, right? So you think you can conquer the Byzantine Empire? Uh -huh. said the Ottoman Turks. Nice job, Ottoman Turks. Oops, you missed the spot. Don't forget to ban Europe from the Indian spice trade. What? That's bullshit, said Portugal. <laughs> Spiceless. Well, I guess we'll have to find That is home. That is home. Wait, said Christopher Columbus. Ah, here he comes. Back. If the world is round, let's go this way. Ha! The no, Caribbean. Got this in Portugal. Let's see. To Spain. Hey, Spain, want to hire me to find India by going around back of the world? No, please. And that's what it is. Please. No, please. <laughs> and he followed right west indies and they thought it was the thing but it was the caribbean to a great start i wonder if they know that europe just discovered their continent the habsburgs are marrying into so many royal families let's see to start marrying each other move over lithuania here comes moscow that's it for the caribbean ah nah anyway they discovered the indies which which were called now west indians west indies we thought the first guy should have been the other guy hey christians do you sin now you can buy your way out of hell. That's bullshit. This whole thing is bullshit. That's a scam. Fuck the church. Here's Nigel Bible. Pa, pa, Martin Luther in his new book, which might have accidentally started the Protestant Reformation. You know what will be magnificent, said Suleiman wearing an onion hat? What if the Ottoman Empire was really big, which it is now? What if Russia was big, said Ivan, trying not to be terrible? Portugal had a dream that they controlled the entire Indian Ocean, including the spice trade. And then that dream was real. And Spain realized that this is not India, but they pillaged it anyway. Damn, exactly. England and France. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. Then the Dutch revolt and all the hipsters moved to Amsterdam. Damn, said Amsterdam. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. Question one, can you get to India through North America? No, but at least there's beaver. Question two, <laughs> steal the spice trade. That's not a question, but the Dutch did it anyway. Sure. Guess where all the sugar's made? In Brazil. Stolen. In the Caribbean. It's so Caribbean. That's us. To not do slavery. The next that's what happened. Slavery is what I told you. Britain and France are having a friendly discussion about who should control the... They did slavery. That's all they did. Basically, the Caribbean, they came here. To the slavery work to, to use the people for sugar and everything else for food and then send it back. Oh boy. 
have to send their prisoners to a different continent. Wait, if France is broke, why do the king and queen still wear such fancy dresses? Let's overthrow the palace and cut all their heads off, said Robespierre, cutting everybody's head off until someone eventually got mad and cut his head off. You can <laughs> starting to like the idea of a revolution, especially the slaves. Haiti revolution, right. Killing their masters. Why didn't we think of this before? Wait, who's in charge of France now? Said Napoleon, trying to take over Europe. The Haitian revolution. Revolution. to another island. There goes Latin America, becoming independent in the Latin American wars of independence. Britain just figured out how to turn steam into power, so now they can make many different types of machines and factories with machines in them, so mm. we can make a lot of products real. Wow, that is the, the era we know. Well, I know. Want to print a brain? 
Some people have no friends. Some people have no food. The globe is warming. And the ocean is full of plastic. Hmm. Let's save the planet, said everybody, not knowing how. Let's invent a thing inventor, said the thing inventor inventor after being invented by a thing inventor. That's pretty cool. By the way, where the hell are we? Hmm. Wow. That was a long video, guys. Did you stick around and watch it with me? That was a long history of the world. I mean, a real history class would be much, much, much longer. A massive headache. But nonetheless, it was a very interesting video, of course. Um, touch everywhere, I believe. I didn't hear much for Australia. I don't know if I missed it. I think I, they showed Australia at some point. And the Atlant Antarctic Ocean and so on and so forth. Nonetheless, it was a good, a good video summarizing the entire world and we know that's how some things are some of us were born in that era born in the era of technology we born just before technology improved we were born in that era of having plenty of clothes on loose clothes plenty plenty of clothes on plenty of hair and then no hair and then all these sort of things so uh, the world is changing dramatically it's going up down up down woo, woo, up down up down and i believe it will continue to change till you know whatever happens in the meantime guys, I enjoy this world as you've got it, as I myself am enjoying it every day. I enjoy my country, I enjoy life on a whole because you know it's not there forever. It is not there forever and we cannot expect to be here forever. Every generation will come. Um, I'm quite sure you can remember your great grandmother, your great great grandmother, but they're no longer here. And they, they at the time when they were young, knew their great great grandmother, great 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 grand. Some of them didn't know where they were from. The world is strange. Nonetheless, enjoy every day like it's your last. Thank you very much for requesting this one. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to Jun. So just comment, you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter if you want me to react to video, leave a comment. Thank you very much. Bye guys.